Yo, what's going on guys? In today's episode of Raft, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get three achievements super fast, super easy, um, without having to play the game for countless 30-40 hours to get these achievements. Um, so the three achievements I'm going to be showing you guys how to get today super quick. Um, all you guys have to do is download this Raft. Uh, the link is down in the description below through Mega. Um, if you guys don't know what Mega is, it's a file sharing website. You guys can scan the files. I don't know why... I would ever try to hurt you guys um, because then that would hurt myself in the long run but basically you guys are gonna have this raft it's full of achievements and stuff where I've got signs up um, because I'm trying to go through every single achievement with you guys here um, but in today's episode I'm going to show you guys how to get the expert screecher hunter expert warthog hunter and the expert wrangler achievements so first off I'm just gonna save the world because I had technical difficulties earlier so you are going to jump off of the raft, and you are just going to come over to here. Um, I might save it a little bit closer so that you guys don't have to run as far, but just the path in case I do leave it there. You're going to come off, and you're going to go to the left. I've already weakened all of the animals on this island, so each one should only be, have to take one hit. Um, so before you start this, I highly suggest going into settings, and turning off your auto save every 10 minutes um, because if it takes you more than 10 minutes it's going to save with the animal still alive and it just it just turns out to be a, a bad situation um, it's not as bad because you guys could just delete the world and re-download and add it to your folder which i'll show you guys how to do at the end of this video but here comes the warthog and that's one warthog dead so that just counted for one of your warthogs um, so then you're going to run down here there's a llama down here you were just going to try to get close enough um, I provided you guys with five shots. There are two animals on this island. So basically you just get kind of close, aim a little bit above, shoot them. That counts as one of your uh, animals wrangled. So that is part of that achievement. Now we're going to run all the way back around and we're going to start going up the mountain um, around the other side because that's where you're going to find the screecher, the other warthog, and the other animal. So just the fact of this is how you're going to have to do this. Um, it's not too bad. I There's some food and water and stuff in your inventory, but you're not going to lose anything each time. So theoretically speaking, you could just shoot your arrows all willy-nilly, um, and if you don't get all the kills and stuff, it's completely fine. So there's the Screecher. He's above us. Um, so we just got to watch out for his shenanigans here. Uh, but you're just going to keep following the, the mountain up here. Um, and then right up on this ledge, well, right there was the Screecher. He's only a one-shot now. Um... Because, like I said, I've already weakened him. But up on this ledge here, there should be another another warthog right there. So you're just going to shoot him. That's another easy warthog. Um, you need to kill 50 of them, so you're going to have to do this 25 times. Um, it might get a little boring for you, but if you want the achievement, you're going to do it. Or you're going to play the game as it's you know intended to be played. Um, so there's the Screecher. He's going to come back around. Um, you're just going to want to watch him. I mean, you don't have to really come up this high, but I find it easier to shoot him when he's flying up towards you rather than down at you. So, if you think that you're, you know, a sharpshooter or whatever, you can just throw a couple arrows. I mean, we got, what, 20 of them? We got 20 left. But here he comes, so you're basically just going to point right above his head and shoot. Otherwise, if he's right above you, you can just shoot. Um, that's another thing, don't get incapacitated by him, because if you do, um, the world will save, and then you have to delete and re-download and put the file back in the folder. Um, but here's your second animal while we're waiting for this creature. It is a goat. You're just going to shoot at him. Uh, and now that's two animals wrangled, that's two, uh, warthogs killed. Whoa. Whoa. He's, he's just taken off like a bullet. And then you're going to just try to kill this creature. Is basically what it comes down to. So, you're going to have to reload and do this 50 times. You're going to have to kill this creature 50 times. So, there's this creature. So now, from here, you have two warthogs killed, two animals wrangled, and one screecher. So... In about, you know, you can shift tab out and you can check all your achievements or whatever um, and stuff like this. Um, so that's cool. 
But at this point, there's nothing left to do here. So you're just going to hit escape. You're going to go to um, main menu. You're going to click exit game and you're going to click, do you want to save? No. You're going to click no and that's it. And then when you load in the world again, kill wrangle achievement is what it's going to be called. You're just going to load back in and you're going to be on the boat where we first started. So then you're just going to run that again. If I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. Um, I'm actually going to get you guys a little bit closer just because I, I you know, I feel like it's going to be easier for you guys to, or it's going to be quicker for you guys to do it this way than having to swim back there and then go all the way left and then all the way right. I'm going to, I'm going to just do a quick save over here by the warthog. Um, so then you guys just have to go right, follow it up the mountain and then just reload from there. But once you're done with your wrangling that your animals achievement and your warthog achievement, um, my best suggestion for you guys is to um, kill them off. So I'm going to just save it right here. We're just going to save the world there. Um, and then you can kill the warthog here because again, he's still just a one shot because we've already weakened him. You can go down there. You can catch your llama. You know, he's going to be someplace around here. Um, sometimes the nets bounce, sometimes they're a little finicky, but again, you know, I said I have, there's five net canisters here for Pete's sakes, like, one of them will, you know, you'll get them with one, um, and if not, you just reload the world, it's not the biggest deal in the world, um, if you don't get them, because every time you reload, all your stuff comes back anyways, um, but once you have your, like I said, once you have the, the warthogs and stuff done, um, you can kill them off or do whatever you want with them. Um, and you can, you know, harvest them for meat. But then when you come up towards the screecher and you get in a, in a good spot for the screecher, or you, you think that you can kill the screecher pretty quick each time where you're going to just load in true narrow, load in true narrow. Um, it makes it very fast. Um, it works out very well if you just... Um, save someplace right before he's about to attack. So right there, the, you know, that's just a couple of runs. You can climb back up, kill the other warthog, capture the goat, and you're just going to continuously repeat this process. Um, and before I get too rambly, again, then once you're done, main menu, exit, do not save until you are completely done with your achievement. Um, from this point on, um, to put your the world folder in there you are gonna you guys are gonna go to uh the website that i have linked down in the description it's gonna be a mega site download the file you're gonna go to then load world open world folder path and it's gonna bring you to this page here um you're then going to just open the world's folder and you can see this these are all of the different um all the different all the different worlds that i have as of right now um, and then from there, you're just going to come down to your little file explorer, right click it, click file explorer, it'll bring up another one, go to your downloads folder, and then find the kill and wrangle achievement. Uh, and then you're just going to click and drag that into your worlds folder. And then from there, you are just going to close out of these and then refresh your load world and it'll be in there and then you can start running the achievement as anybody else would um, or as I showed you so if this has been helpful and it helps you guys get your achievements quicker let me know um, more achievements coming soon I have a whole list of them someplace I'm not 100% sure where I have them right now um, let me see if I have so here is the entire list of all the achievements, and I'll be checking these off as we do these videos. So um, there's that. So with that said, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Uh, really appreciate it. It means a lot that you guys are taking a liking to this series. And if there's any specific achievements that you guys are looking to unlock, um, let me know, and I will get you guys a video on how to do those very easily. Um, in the near future. So with that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios and goodbye. Don't get stranded on a raft.
Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit.